as they were flying in, the aircraft came under heavy enemy fire. A fire broke out in the radio compartment, so hot from the leaking oxygen that three of the crew members decided to bail out in the open waters, then stick around and help out. Two of Sergeant Smith's fellow gunners were wounded, so what did he do? He administered first aid to his two wounded gunners, attempted to extinguish the fire using all the agent that he had on the aircraft, tossed out exploding ammunition that was on the airplane into the open waters, and manned the 50 caliber waste gun returning fire at the fighter aircraft. As soon as he ran out of the fire extinguishing agent though, he turned to himself. He covered his hands and feet with cloth and literally put the fire out. This enabled the crew to return back to Thurlay, England at witness reports state that once the aircraft landed, it broke in half, but luckily the crew was saved. On July 12, 1943, President Franklin Roosevelt signed his Medal of Honor. You know, it really hit home to me that it really doesn't matter the size of the man, it matters the fight. And what he proved on that day was that he wasn't going down without a fight. You know, it shows me you know, every day when I get out there and teach that the stuff we're doing is important. That learning about how to handle stress, learning about how to handle emergencies, it's important. Because the day that it happens is the day that you didn't think it was going to happen. And it's on. And you're going to need to do everything that you've ever been trained to do 